Warning. The content here has been rated MA18 by the YouTube overlords. Viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy the show my peeps. Like. Help me hit today's like goal of 1-0. You are all wicked awesome. Sub. 683. We gotta bump those numbers up. 1-7 more to 7-0-0 my peeps. Let's go. Donations. If you would like to support my work, drop a super chat or just donate to my channel please hit the cash app link. URL Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee some fun laughs here at 7am. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Title Warpath TV, current stream title, Warpath Wednesday 99 roll grind ready in line free aim tips tricks comedian voice actor funny. Come join the new Warpath TV Red Dead at Step Children Discord server at URL. U.
good morning my peeps hope all is well in your world it's warpath wednesday welcome to warpath tv it is i the salty one warpath himself good morning there kefka first one in first one served everybody piling in we're gonna do some nine for nine daily roll grinds here today that's what we usually do here at warpath tv i usually just uh tell stories shoot the shit with everybody give some helpful hints tricks tips all that good stuff usually just roll through get a good little grind going but it's hump day it's the middle of the week Hope everybody's doing good so far. I am, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now, man. I'm battling a major, 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 major headache this morning. So, Corey morning, Smith. Duder. Good morning, my friend. How are you this morning? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm battling a pretty crazy, nasty headache. So, I'm going to try and make the best of it. Um, barely about a halfway through my second cup of coffee so hopefully it kicks in here and uh, it'll make me get a little bit better today's light goal is 10 I wasn't able to adjust my subscription uh, night bot thingy going on there but we're about we're about like 12 or 13 away from 700 we're almost there we're almost there my peeps so just keep grinding away people are starting to fill in here People are piling and it takes about, you know, a good a good 10 or 15 minutes before everybody piles Hope in. Hope you feel so. better. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will, man. Headaches are when you have over two dozen, uh, dozen concussions and, you know, neck and brain surgery. It's kind of like a trick of the trade, you know what I mean? Morning, so. brother. Good morning, my little brother. Stacks and stuff in the house. Rocking the wrench. I'm just kind of getting everything dialed in, excuse me. Pod me, excuse me, sorry. All right, let's take a look at the dailies. And, uh, yeah, let's get things going here. Right out the bat, let's take a look at the generals. 20 animal skin. Good lord, they just want me to be a mass murderer today. Out of those 20, they want me to kill two cougars. Ah, I guess I'll be going to the bar. Distance traveled on a wagon. Golden Currents. I do believe we're in Golden Current Country. Oh, wait. No, Golden Currents are in Roanoke, I do believe. Anyways, showdowns. We don't do showdowns. Uh, I could just join a posse. I don't know. Visit a shop in Rhodes. Limone. It looks like we're going to Limone to visit that shop in Rhodes. Oh, the infamous don't kill a bounty. Bring in a bounty. Three of them. Some camp stews, local buyer, reset, resupplies, wildflowers, wildflowers, birdie eggs, shovels, decor, dance, play with the band. That'll be pretty easy. Oh, man, the infamous don't kill. So we, they want us to mass murder animals, but then they say don't kill anything for 24 hours. But after that 24 hours, you can just go and mass murder as many animals as you please. So for sure, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And then possibly, you know, we're, for sure we're going to get nine today, no matter what. So, Oh, I do. I do believe this. This, there'd be some mucking around. There'd be some mucking around. Let's see what kind of recipes we got. All right, cowboy bean stew. Look at that. The first day of the other day. MJP, what are you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Let's take some of this cowboy bean. Let's get ourselves nice and overweight before we leave today. Don't look at my dog shitting behind me. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Whatever you do, don't step in it. Remember me. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, let me remember. Of course I remember you, dog. You're the big giant nine foot ten biker dude from England, right? Yeah, I remember you. Don't trip, chocolate chip. I got you on the roster. All right, so we got three up, three down. Let's 
get our stuff out of here. It said I had some benefits, so let's check the benefits. I do believe they just finally added everything in from yesterday. Let's take a look. Oh my god, it's got a star on it! Hi. Yeah, so... Smile. It's just telling you the stuff that we already went through yesterday. Nine yesterday FT, emoji store. happy tears, emoji so, happy tears. I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any anything new. It's just telling about what we what we talked about yesterday morning. If you guys want to hear about the reset, the weekly reset, you can go into my video from yesterday. I talk about it first thing in the video reset. So, yeah. Bing, bing, bon, bonds and all that good stuff. Let's take a look at our weapons. They're semi-clean. Well, not the shoddy. We might as well clean them all before we head out. The shotgun gets so dirty. Oh, God. So filthy. Let me uh, switch this up here. Here we go. Nine FT emoji <coughs> rolling on the floor laughing. <coughs> Let's see here. All right, clean the clean the old Mausers. Smash that like. The old German special. Hit the sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. The old Mauser Pauser, the old broom handle Mauser. Let's stick a broom handle on it and just let it go boom boom. All right. So, uh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're gravy. Crips is good. I kind of want to do those dead last if I absolutely positively have to. Because we kind of are in grifter territory. This is where all the new booties come. When you, when you first start playing the game, you end up in New Austin. Uh, it's a decent lobby. There's some... Some alrighties in here. A lot of rookies, but some alrighties. This is this fucking killer right here. My character on RDR2 online is 6FT10. That's Bigfoot right there. Big old Sam Squatch. What are the. Because I have a miscellaneous pop. I wonder what's on them. So let's see. We got an arrowhead. Terror car. Terror! Terror! And a liquor bottle. You know what I could do? I could just kill the clock real quick. I could go get these. Try not to stomp on a manimal. Just knock these out real quick. Let's just do that. I'm gonna go over here and get this for sure. Cause I gotta get I gotta dig up some shit anyway, so I might as well just and I'm six FT two in real life. My house, big smoky smoke. Thought I switched this yesterday, but apparently I didn't. Gonna go dig this up. I'll try there, Crip Gang. I think that's Golden Current right there. Hold on, we're about to find out. How tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'11. I'm 5'11", and, um, let's see, I just got weighed the other day at the doctor, so I'm like, I kind of gained some weight, and 215 pounds right now. Oh, it's black currants. So yeah, black currants in New Austin, and gold currants up in Roanoke. So just, uh, FYI, my peeps. Just the FYI. Now I gotta find myself a way off this fucking mountaintop. Rocky Mountain High, New Austin. I believe. This. No. Not a path I really want to relegate. Take. That's the Come thing about new, the new, war new Austin, man. Red Dead it's Death Children Discord server at URL. New Austin, you gotta be really careful on how you tread. Cause you will fuck around and find out real quick off the side of a cliff. Here we go. Now 
Now, if we do kill an animal, I'm not too worried because. Whoa, where the fuck are you going there, antelope? That's a real as much as I hate that daily, I like to get it done just for the XP, because it does give you a lot of XP if you get it done, believe it or not. It's one of the fucking pain in the ass dailies to get done. Because they know you're gonna I trample have a question. What's up, man? But it's just a fucking pain in the ass, dude. I fucking hate it. I hate that daily. Like two of them, my most hated dailies are going on today, so. But it's cool, we're gonna make it happen. so tall when my father is only 5 FT6. Uh, how tall is your grandparents? Oh shit! Fucking, there, there, there go two cougars right there. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee, some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go before we lose this bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Knock the hay, knock the hay. Just gonna go up here to the cavern. Right here. My mother is 5 FT8 and my grandfather was 5 FT10 and my uncle is 6 FT and my great uncle is 6 FT3. Okay, so someone all on the line. Uh y'all got Someone along the line, y'all got that Viking genetic in you. I 
didn't know I didn't have this fucking cougar. Well, we got the two cougars. There's something I didn't expect that we were going to get that we weren't going to get. Well, that motherfucker fucked me up, too, man. Holy mackerels. Let me take some minty fucking... And I'm six FT two. So like, <clears throat> I'm the biggest of my family as well. My grandfather on my mom's side, on my white side, he was six two. Um, everybody on my dad's side, because they were Comanche, so average Comanche uh, size is like you know five eight at the biggest. Everybody on, on my mom's side was pretty tall because they're all, you know, Dutch, Viking looking motherfuckers and shit. So, that's the first time I've ever come across that panther in that kind of scenario like that. That fool fucked me up. Holy shnagging. So, yeah, our 24 hour timer starts over. That's cool. Oh! Nope! Starts over now. Might as well... Might as well skin him. That's what I mean, man. You got that, that 24 hour timer and it just, the, the slightest little kick of a stupid ass animal that crosses your horse's path and it's all over with. As soon as I go get this uh, arrowhead, we're gonna go see Gus. Uh, get this pelt. Uh, I need to... I need to show you guys and see if they still have the pelt glitch. So you can wear the pelt without the full jacket the pelt, you know what I mean? It's just like the head on a vest. It's not the full jacket. I don't think it's here. I think it's down there. Yeah, it's down there. I went from being 5 FT 5 1 4 year old to a 6 FT 2 3 8 year old man. That happens, dude. We all have our growth spurts. Smash that like. Hit that sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. When I was little, I was like a hobbit, so my hands and feet grew before the rest of my body did, so I had like size 12 feet before I was like 5'8", and then the rest of my body grew in after the fact. There we go, there it is. The, the, the moonshine shack and get the, the moonshine thing he's got in there and just get those daily stuff. Just 
hopefully no more fucking cougars and shit run up on us while I'm sipping my coffee in cinematic mode. Oh, by the way, I created a short yesterday. Um, that one minute short, I tried to lace it with um, like a music track of uh, Morgan Wallen. And um, dude, it took me close to an hour. No, an hour and a half just to make a one minute edit. And I still couldn't get the music to lay over correctly and sound right. It sounded like shit. I was so frustrated by the time I was done, like, editing it and shit. I was, like, so frustrated. I was like, Where fuck it. You when you saw the legendary panther? So I was like, fuck it, I'm out. And I just dipped out. And, uh, I said, fuck it. I put on Return of the King and started lo watching Lord of the Rings. It always makes me feel better. I was... I was close to my camp. So it was on the way to Gap Tooth Ridge. I believe it was along this road here. It was along this road here. And then she'll pop up over here too. Get along, little doggy. Oh, look at that. He's turning on the speed. He turns on the speed. Oh, he gave up. Thanks. Motherfucker gave up and shit. No problem. You just gotta be in, like, the right area. Sometimes it pops up. Um, it has to be, like, a certain time of day and shit. But you seen how I, I rolled up and there was a camp and nobody was in the camp. There was kind of like a dead dude there. And as soon as I rolled up on the camp, the yellow question mark popped up. That's when you know it's going to be a legendary animal. They'll pop up just like that. Uh, the legendary bear in uh, Tall Trees pops up like that too. You'll fucking, you'll be just riding through and you'll come across a camp full of dead dudes you go and inspect them and the bear will come out of nowhere you gotta look for you a rock to hear something cool. what my name no I'm just kidding well, what's up man <laughs> what's, what's up there's Gus I can see his fire from here wondered can I get oh uh, you can't I was just was wondering if I could always just grub on fucking Gus's stew wow at least that's once. a once in a lifetime kill you back there I'm yeah. proud of you feel Th free to peruse the wares thanks All Gus right, let's have a look see so what you got buddy how much you gonna 22.50? That's the fucking ripoff right there, bro. Now, how much you gonna fucking sell it to me for? Like $500, $700? Holy macro. That's what it looks like, though. Shit is fucking tight. Looks even cooler without, like, the full jacket. I'll have to get, I'll have to do the glitch. Um, it takes some time, but I'll have to do the glitch. I'll do it after today's show. Come join the new Warpath TV Talking Red Dead Step Children Discord server at URL. The wheat from the chaff. I'll do it after today's show, and then that way, um, tomorrow, I'll show you guys how to do it and then you guys can rock rock out your uh, pelts without wearing the full coat you can wear it with like just the vest or whatever so I've been hearing stories 
Like I always say, I aim to please, but I shoot to kill. Let's get a little close up of it here. There we go. Looks pretty tough, huh? I'm not a big fan of wearing them, but when I do, it's uh, it's like either a cat or one of the. If wolf you give ones. up to four zero to five zero legendary animals to your camp, and you will make up to one zero 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 dollars. Yeah. Um. The thing is, bud, is when you turn in legendary animals to your camp, it really doesn't matter. It just turns into materials. So it's just a mass production of materials. So it really doesn't matter what you're turning in. Once you turn in stuff to, um. Once you turn in stuff to, uh, crypts, that's it, man. What's going on here? Why isn't it? Let's go, uh, let's go get this last card. Once Crips gets materials, it doesn't matter if it's legendary, three star. Well, it matters because it matters as far as how much materials you're turning in. Because if you're turning in a one star, you're only turn you're 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 wasting your material production. If you're turning in a three star or a legendary, then you're maximizing your pr material production. Is what I'm trying to say. Better the animal, the more money. That's true, because you're you're not you're not wasting material production. So you, you got to turn in a legendary or a three star, and that's that's saving you material production. That way you're not going out on on more resupply missions. You're not going out and spending more money on supplies, like Crips, because Crips is jacking you behind your back. Believe it or not, dude, Crips is he's skimming off the top. Uh, I believe it's PVP Cat. He did a a video. I want to say two or three years ago. Um, and he did the math. And Crips is is not only skimming off the top, but he's like, that's the only way to maximize production and money. Especially if you have a large wagon. I don't have a large wagon. I refuse to buy one. I learned my lesson in Xbox. So, um, large wagon runs to me are like a waste of time. Unless you're a newer player and you're like rocking out a full posse all the time. I'm subscribed to PVP Cat. Yeah, it's a good dude. Mm, place gives me the fidgets. But, um,. I just rock a medium wagon, and I only do local deliveries when it's like an absolute daily or a trader roll month. Other than that, I don't really do trader roll stuff. The only reason why I started trader roll was specifically to get to moonshiner roll, because to get moonshiner, you have to have trader roll. You have to get so far on trader roll before you start the shiner. Ooh, absinthe. Nice. Okay. Alright. What was the other daily we had to get? Collector. I'm Where's also subscribed to MBR. Wildflower. Wildflower out here. Oh, let me put that in the chat. For everybody doing collector roll stuff, I always put this in the chat for you guys. Collector roll map stuff. They do have an app link that you could use when you get there, but Hi, Pikachu. Yo, Matt. what's up? Use so this link to maximize you your collector roll adventures. URL. I'm just gonna pop I'm also right subscribed now. to MBR. 
Right on, man. I heard you the first time, Pippin. Oh, so there's like two right here. I'll go to the south first. Fuck, it's all the way down and around. That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to go and Smash right the like. here, fuck it. Hit the sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Oh, my fucking head is pounding right now. Wake up with Warpath, a warm <laughs> cup of coffee, some fun laughs here at 7 a.m. Oh my at god, my head is pounding. Monday through Saturday. It's like a couple of gnomes with fucking hammers just going to town acting like my head is a brand new shoe but they gotta remake it or something i don't know how it goes pika 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 choo pika choo we just watch some pokemon or something so much It's right here. Just gotta watch out where I fucking step because there's little motherfucking iguanas and shit all up in here. I'm on a Mexican radio. What is that? What is that? As the Texas blue bonnet. What are these? Oregano. Oregano. Alright. I'm gonna make my little. No. I don't need that. Oh my god, dude. Stop already. So we need this one, and then we'll just go to Armadilla. It's kind of on the way, right? We're gonna pass it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kind of pass it. Boom. We're gonna kind of pass it. Cinemaniacs, it real quick. Get a sip of my coffee. Are you subscribed to MBR? Uh, I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I am, bud. Like. Help me hit today's like goal of one zero. You are all wicked awesome. Uh. Sub. Six eight three. We gotta bump those numbers up. As far as One, seven more to seven zero zero, my peeps. As far as Red Let's Dead go. content creators go, I'm only subscribed to a few others. Nope. Um, PVP Cat, Hazard, um, Fishy, and uh, Dirty Tyler. Do you know who MBR is? Nah, I don't. Never really heard of that guy. Ian Bear. Whoa, where are you going, dude? <gasps> fucking riding off in the fucking sunset and shit. Right side! I'm gonna pick this shit up and get the fuck on out of here. Then we just gotta worry about the abundance amount of birdie eggs we gotta get. There we go. Wild rhubarb? Ooh, I like me some wild rhubarb. Today, but 
out. My head's like exploding. It's one of my key features is being able to sing. you I bet you no really maybe over here then really all right so be it so we gotta change the core dance and play with the band. And then I'm gonna have to use the, what you call it, the app. How can I help? How can I help? What's where you point that thing there, Maggie? Decor. He does really funny videos of RDR2 online and RDR2 story and other games. He has got me through hard times because he jokes on all the way T. Oh, that's cool, man. Right on, dude. It's always uh, good when you can like, like go on YouTube or Rumble or something and, and find somebody like relatable, get you through some shit. There's a couple of content creators on YouTube that's gotten me through some shit too, man. That's why I like Geeks and Gamers and some of those, you know, peeps. I'm going to start by playing the ones and twos. Get this party started. <laughs> sure, give it a go. Shut up, bitch. You know I can play. Uh, 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 uh. That's right, uh. Break it down now. We got ourselves a music lover. Maybe some of y'all know how this one goes. Smoke it if you got it. Punk ass birdie eggs.
flipping it? A little kick flipping shit. Shit, helicopters. You gonna dance or what? You gonna dance? You gonna dance or what? Get my rain dance on. Last minute. Good. You always gotta, you always wanna, you know, leave making them want more and shit. Like, oh, we you such a glorious dancer. We have a batch ready to go. Such a glorious dancer. I have some ideas. Oh, always gotta do at least one shine run. Just keep here. that money going. This is Easy a good batch, of course. They are all good batches, but this one is superior, eh? I have found a buyer who will appreciate it. And most important, they will pay for it too. Now, all you have to do is to be attentif, eh? Attentif, eh? Seigneur, ayez pitié. Elle en a peut-être fait des pipites. Fact, uh, Good morning, MOG like smiling eyes. My genie in a bottle has arrived. It looks like I gotta go all the way down the road to get those birdie eggs, anyway. So. Probably get a flower while I'm down there too. Go down there and get that ever elusive loony egg.
So for the past couple days, I've noticed that the game has been really wonky. Like the server, if you look ahead, like it renders in kind of late. side I'm all in the green so I don't know what it could be Almost there. What if I'll get that daily on this one here? It's a short run, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Oh, there's a tarot card right here. Where are we, where are we at? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a tarot card right here. It'll let me get it. Right on. by the river. A mysterious ticket at a bada bada ball. Very mysterious, elusive. Is it visible? It's supposed to be like right here. Wait a second. Okay, so I got... What's that? There's that. There's the Yes, fork. son, you and your mother are the reason why I drink this moonshine. Yeah, right? supposed to be right here so it's somewhere in between it's lying here right next to the road found me some bit of weed
I never wanted you, son, but your mother tricked me by getting me drunk. <laughs> What's up, Cabot? See, I don't know where this is at. It says it's supposed to be like right here. Right here by the water. Unless this area is good for hog hunting. I mean it must be glitched out because it's supposed to be right here. Uh, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm in the completely wrong spot. Yeah, I'm in the completely wrong spot. That's that's my bad. I noticed there is a lot of snakes in this area as well. In this area? Yeah, um, over towards the west part. So it's over here. Sorry about that, I was totally fucking misreading the, the map wrong. One sheep herder said to the other sheep herder. Let's get the flock out of here. There is something else I want to pick up. Once I a blue moon, you might run across a cooper chasing a deer and catching it around here. See if I can flank around Cabot's X. Smash that like. Hit that sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Herod the Peta bitch. I need the bear cave. I need Wake the man warpath, bear pig a warm cave. cup of coffee, some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. I saw her blowing off the elk. <laughs> Fucking cabot. Hey. 
Come join the new Warpath TV Red Dead It's Death Children Discord server at URL. So we just gotta worry about... I have a question. Shoot it, man. We just gotta worry about birdie eggs now. We're gonna get those down near roads because... From what I'm seeing on the map right now, it looks like... That's the funk doctor spot. <laughs> We gotta go down there anyway to do bounties and stuff, so while we're down there, we'll... we'll we will kill the three birds with the two stones, yes! Or maybe however you say, yeah! There's a ring over here too on the hill, but I already got everything with the How do you know if someone blocked you on YouTube? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think you'd know, or... I think, um, you go through on your, um, your subscription list and you can see if they're there or not. If you know you sub to somebody and you go through your sub list and they're not there, then that's probably a good indication that they uh, took you off their list and blocked you. I think in my whole time of being on YouTube, I've blocked maybe one person. Knowing someone like Harachi could be in that bestiality shit. Oh, like Harriet? Yeah, for sure, dude. Alright, let's go down here near roads. Let me look up some fucking eggs. Alright, so there's an egg all the way to the south. I may have to, uh... Yeah... It's gonna be a whole East Coast thing on the eggs, cause they're MMM Harriet. They're uh, they're scattered around. Yeah, that's Stax's favorite chick right there, Harriet. You he loves with Harriet. The profits from that batch, I hope. He thinks he can change her. He can bring her around. Mm, this will put airs on your face, yes? Yes. This will work very nicely. In all honesty, though, if, if I, I think Stax and Harriet relationship would probably work. I think Stax would turn her, turn her around. She just needs a good shower. That that's all. Yeah, a good shower, a hair brushing. I was just asking because I had an argument with a woman that I'm subscribed to on YouTube and she said that she was going to block me. I was just asking because I had an argument with a woman that I'm subscribed to on YouTube and she said that she was going to block me. Yeah, well, usually nine times out of ten when they say something like that, they usually do, unfortunately. Especially if they're a woman, bro. That's, that's usually how it works. Women are quick to pull that block trigger. I mean, I had, a, I had one good friend of mine. She's... Really good friend. Um, I consider her one of my three loves of my life, and she considered me the same, and she blocked me out of her whole life because uh, she started dating some Hell's Angel dude, and she didn't want him to get the wrong idea and shit, so... I mean, I, I, I didn't even... 
get to wish her a Merry Christmas or a Happy I New Year. In her live stream. Yeah, she blocked you then for sure. She definitely blocked you. That's the thing, man. When you go into somebody's stream, like, or help me hit today's like goal of one zero. You're you part of somebody's awesome. um, community. Six eight three. We gotta bump those numbers up. You're a uh, one seven more to seven zero zero, my peeps. You gotta remember, Let's dude. Go. When you step into somebody's stream and they're streaming or whatever, that's like you're walking into their home, their clubhouse or whatever. So you gotta kind of like watch your P's and Q's and just kind of remember that you gotta act the way you would want somebody to act in your stream or your show. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that you did wrong in any kind of way or anything like that. I'm not saying I don't know the situation. I don't know the scenario or anything like that or what happened. I'm just saying that you know, don't don't step into somebody's house. And you know why she blocked me. And like spread dog shit all over their carpet is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Whether you agree with what they're saying or not, I mean you could you could like get your two cents in here and there, but don't make it to the point to where, like I said, you're spreading dog shit all over their carpet, because that's what's gonna happen is they're gonna get mad, they're gonna block you, they're gonna report you, they're gonna you know. I mean, it's I'm I'm on such a thin line of ice with YouTube that I don't even lay let leave negative comments on people um, on their videos. You know what I mean? Sometimes if I even don't like a video, I won't even thumbs down it because even when you thumbs down something, the algorithm will pick up that you thumbs down something, and they're like, uh, YouTube will be like, oh, he's in a bad mood, he's being naughty, we're gonna throw him down the bottom of the fucking list. You know what I mean? So the algorithm and the way YouTube is set up right now is is if you complain or you're a squeaky wheel and shit, they won't give you no grease. They'll just put you at the bottom of the totem pole. And if you're getting blocked or somebody's fucking, you know, putting you on restriction or something, then, then YouTube is going to, you know, put you on that Santa Claus naughty list and shit. Just a little advice, dude. You know what I mean? It's cool to get your two cents in and shit. Just kind of watch your P's and Q's of what you say, how you say it. You know what I mean? You're cool over here on my stream. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what was said and done over there on her stream, but obviously you you said something to trigger her. is like a woman, they find shit to bitch about. For, for sure. YouTube is asshole. She blocked me because I asked her, do you want to have a game of RDR2 online? Those are the two. Okay, cool. Well, no, that's not the one I was hoping for. The other one is like up over here somewhere. But we'll get it. Let's get some of these bounties started first. Oh, look at there.
There's a couple of far out on that east coast. I'm just gonna grab those. I see that the strange man talked about Van Horn. Yeah, it was a good video. You guys catch that yesterday? I was gonna Hello? share it in the Discord. I just sometimes I don't like sharing other people's stuff on my stuff. But I was gonna talk about it today. I didn't I didn't think there was that many mysteries in um, Van Horn. Pretty cool though. Oh dang, we're only one uh one away from nine for nine. So we only need this one right here. Bring in two. Smash that like. Hit that sub box. There we go. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. Motherfucking Griswolds. Griswold, Griswolds. Oh! Uh, Lash Lampoon's Vacation, the Griswolds. That's where it's from. That's why I was like, Griswolds, why does that name sound so familiar? Griswolds, Griswolds. Clark W. Griswold and shit. These must be his great great grandparents and shit, or his grand grandpas and uncles or whatever. Let's get these motherfuckers. We'll track them down on smoke and then we'll bring them in on the meat wagon. Oh, Clark they got a Griswold. Yeah. He finds shit that make you look at RDR2 in a whole new level. Oh, strange man. Yeah, man, for for sure. The crazy thing is, is, I was watching Strange Man before I actually started playing Red Dead. He's actually one of the main people that got me in the, in the wanting to play this. <laughs> Him and Hazard. I was getting all my uh, tips and tricks and stuff from them and then when uh, me and my friends would play they would get all the information from me and then once I started becoming a veteran of this game I would just pass on all my little news and notes and shit onto my homies and people like my boy right there Stax he started finding his own way These dudes, they don't really need to come in alive or anything, so we're just gonna bring them in corpses. See how well this works out. You have become a true master at this game, Warpath. Thanks, bro. I have my bad days. Don't get me wrong. When I first played RDR2, I never noticed things in RDR2 until I start watching the Strange Man. Come join the new Warpath TV Red Dead at Step Children Discord server at URL. Alright, so when you're in bounty hunter mode, you're going to get a pamphlet, and it's going to give you the extra sight eye. So what's going to happen is, see how the two dudes are glowing? 
like a horse, those are going to be your bounties. So I'm going to make a run in. I'm just going to cap these fools on the flank. Catch them by surprise. There's one. He's going to try on escape. I'm just about sick of robbing broke idiots. With a gang of a bunch of useless idiots. Wake up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee some fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Where's the Oh, there he is. There we go. Stranger. Loot enemy, loot enemy, loot enemy. Let's pick up the stranger. Oh, Clark W. Griswold's uncle. Like, where is this dude? He's all invisible and shit. Motherfucker just kicking it up against the wall. Nice holster on you. Yeah, a lot of protection. There we go. Nice. Just knocking dailies out. out of the way.
his, his subtitles came out, but he didn't say nothing. Two bounties, brought in. My work here is done. Nine for nine, boys and girls, nine for nine. How you doing, Pippin? How you doing, Bubba Bear? Same shit, different toilet. Can't complain. You out here doing blood money too, Pippin? Yeah, you know how it is, man. Can't complain. Keep up that good grind, man. <laughs> All right, let's stop this. And poof, disappear. -o. One of my favorite things right there, man, when you just come across a random and they're cool as fuck. Can't really beat that. That's the thing about this game, you know what I mean? Fundamentally, for every nine people that play this, they're all cool, you know? You just get that one asshole that has to fucking ruin it. Dude was totally cool right there. He's out just doing this thing like me, getting his grind on. Ain't out trying to fuck with nobody, just out here trying to grind. Alright, so this shit, I think it's on this one of these islands over here. going to be eggs and fossils out here. There it is. Spoonbill. And then there's a there's a fossil right here too. Alright, where's this other egg at? The thing about bird eggs is no matter how many maps you pop, you're only going to get a few eggs. Sometimes you'll get three, sometimes you'll get two, sometimes you'll get the one. Get this, 
a sig, and I'll get you a fucking tree. Alright, till then, STFU. If you guys are into um, history and like war history especially, go check out this channel called Fat Electrician. This dude puts it down in such a way it's so entertaining and so fun. Oh, okay, I was gonna say that it's just amazing how he does it. Uh, he did he did a video recently about a horse named Reckless in the Korean War and it's such a fucking great video man so I just I highly recommend you guys go watch it um, obviously after you watch my video of course but go check him out fat electrician F A T electrician um, just great dude funny very entertaining um, gets his facts done very very well and it's just just it's great man it's great storytelling and shit so I thought I'd share that with y'all uh, we're gonna go to the strange man strange man he's got a gang of shit at his place right now so we're gonna go there I'm gonna take a shortcut I, uh, I started watching them a few months ago and then uh, I turned my dad out to the channel and now my dad every time like I hang out or I talk to my dad my dad's like did you watch the, the, the episode that he put out the other day I'm like yes dad I subscribe so every time he puts out a video I, I get I get the update I get it my dad loves it dude. my dad's all into that so big time history buff pops Shout out to Pops. If it wasn't for Pops, I wouldn't I wouldn't be a history buff, that's for sure. He's the one that made me um, a history buff. that buddy are you fucking kidding me right now you tripped over such a small little bumps in the roads yeah Is why. 
Whiskey's up in here. Fucking cat. What's up, Smoke? How you doing? Oh, here's a brush. Rosewood hairbrush. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There you go. And then the egg is right here. Oh, nice. This is the same egg that was fucking glitched out last time. Cool. Done. Yeah, that's right. That is right. eggs and shit we're all nine for nine out <laughs> we're fucking wasting time and shit that bitch was glitching too i could have swore she was gonna try and do something Expensive stuff either. Huh. Damn. That's all it takes to get out of jail these days. Cheap bottle well, of hello. Well, it's hello. It's been a little there. while, hasn't it's it? It's a bit of while. What were you looking for today? I need you to fucking do an overhaul on my shit, pimpin'. Wait, what? These are dirty? Really? I thought I cleaned them. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. How is one dirty and the other is not? That's weird. That is so strange, yeah? One is dirty. You don't have to keep it the way I sold it to you. I can make a few changes to fit you if you like.
Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. How fucking filthy this You've fucking gun is. Looking as nice <laughs> as the day you bought it. Oh, well shit. It's like I fucking threw it in the river and shit, and then rolled it around in the mud, and then threw it in the river again. That's fucking hilarious. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. You know what? I don't like that rap, dude. Um, You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Are you interested in any rifling in this one? Give your bullets a nice twist rate. Pleather. Uh, chocolate. So delicious! Tough. Old buff and tough. Let's get these gold currents. And then I'll pop us into like a little mission to finish us off. Golden currents of gold. Oh, for real? Hold on. Where's currents at? Ingredients. Current. Here we go. Let me discard five of these. One, two, three. Come on, man. Oh, if you're wondering too, my horse picking um, herbs is a pamphlet that you get from Madame Nazar. You have to reach, I can't remember what rank it is. It's up there though. Stack stuff cabot kisser morning. Sakes, 20 animal skin? That's a fucking lot. Well, we only need like 18 more, but still. That's a fucking lot. Fucking black bear. 
big old black bear. I'm gonna pop camp, go back to camp. All right. This is there's oh that's shaky. Where's the kid at? That's James. Oh fuck, who are these fucking guys? Puppies. All right, look at this whole thing. She's all fucking offense. He's the. So they're all using like slippery bastard and shit. Counter that with slow and steady. I think we're good, we're good, we're good. see her. So, yeah, fuck it. We'll finish it up today. Wasn't expecting to get the dailies done so fast. You know what I mean? Jeez Louise. Okay. Kick me right out. You know, I was just thinking, it's been years now since I slept with four walls around me. Life. And even longer with four walls and a roof. But I've never been oh, hold on. having some issues here. That was weird, dude. Let's try it again. Help me hit today's like goal of one zero. You are all wicked awesome. Sub. Six eight three. We gotta bump those numbers up. One seven more to seven zero zero, my peeps. Let's go. It keeps kicking title. Out. Warpath TV. Current stream title. Warpath Wednesday 9 9. Roll grind ready in line. Free aim tips tricks. Comedian voice actor funny. Keeps kicking me out. I wonder why. Let's try it one more time and then I'll, tra I'll change sessions. Maybe that'll work.
Smash that like. Hit that sub box. Never miss any of my content drops here on Warpath TV. So yeah, let's let's switch let's switch sessions. While we're switching sessions, just give me a second to be right back, skis. All right, new session. I would just like to say a little public service announcement from Warpath. That no matter how good the soap is, don't ever, ever, ever come out of the bathroom smelling your fingers. All right. Yeah, see, this is, uh, damn, look at that 920. Can't wait till I'm in the 900s. Looks like this is a more acceptable lobby. Let's, uh more compact camp. I don't have to fucking run around as much, huh? I think we're still good to go. Let me make a new recipe. Oh, venison and mushrooms! So delicious! You know, I like to get my cores up before we go do anything. So let me get everything going here. Let me get some stew in me. Good old stew. Nine likes, one like, one like away from today's daily goal of ten. Please hit the goal. Smash the like button for me. Thank you. Come again. I know some of y'all are Indian. That was just, just a joke. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful or nothing. You know, I love y'all. I love my Indian people. Let me definitely get rid of that shit. One thing I can't stand in my satchel is Jolly Jacks and cocaine gum. It just fucks, fucks me up when I'm going through my, my clickety clacks. Alright. So we're good on that. Let's uh let's see if we can jump into it now. Let's try to get this Mama LeClerics going. We're like 10 minutes of trying to get it fucking going here. Destroyed by grief! 
Horley needs to see you. He and Miss Leclerc are due to me, Amos Lansing, and Blackwater, and will require protection. And I'm not talking just a condom either. Oh! Finding, finding, looking, currently tried to the matchmaker, making an in and getting him. Dude, I haven't played this one in a minute. Surely there's other players playing this level. Of course there is. Don't call me Shirley. We had a good group of peeps yesterday, remember yesterday? With the Italian dude, he was laughing at my accent and shit. Dude, we gotta get something in here. I'm sure there's just somebody playing this level. We're all in the green too, so come on! Come on! Join the party! Let's go! Good crimes calls for good crimes. Calls for good times. Calls for great times. Good times. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading this message I got right now. Some people are funny. Ah, here we go. Finally! I was waiting for like a half an hour. Not just kidding. Like, maybe four minutes. Five tops.
Loading, loading, loading. Ooh, look at these proper villains. Proper. Got me. We got old Jitty. Lucky Moon. We spot you. Proper, proper villains, proper. Those trinkets don't get in your way when you run. Unless ready up, or is somebody still loading in? Looks like somebody's still loading in. There we go. Hit the triangle button so we can get on the go. Early bird gets the worm, as my grandfather used to say. Oh, she left. Sabachi left. Just the three of us. It can make it if we try. Just the three of us. You and I and I and I. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. It seems your efforts have not been entirely in vain, but <laughs> have produced some rather surprising results. Well, not surprising, but... Confusing. Confusing. After castigating me as a, a widow, a harlot, a fool, a mad woman, anything and everything. Suddenly, shortly after we killed his brother-in-law, Amos Lansing wants to talk. He sent word via an intermediary. Mr. Jones. <laughs> Even that crazy old fool said not to trust any of it. Mr. Which is why we need you. You're to help keep Mrs. Leclerc protected during the meeting at Blackwater. I shouldn't imagine they would kill us in broad daylight, but you never know. I never imagined they'd kill my husband, nor turn me into a fugitive. Anyway, friends, shall we go? Sure. You want to drive? Today may go any number of ways, but I want to make sure once the shooting starts... All of them end up dead. One of you drive the wagon, the other keep guard. Thank you. All of you. This means... <laughs> well, it means something. I don't know exactly what yet, but... I don't think any of us think Mr. Lansing has become a saint, madam, but... Uh, perhaps we should hear him out. Perhaps. You want to drive... Lucky Moon, and I'll ride with her. Would you kindly take us to Blackwater? All right, looks like I'm driving. Here, here, here. I do confess, this is a most strange appointment. All right, yeah, that's cool. Like that's cool. I said, I would be much more comfortable going as your emissary, ma'am. And I said I wanted to hear what he had to say, and to look him in the eye when he was saying it. Here, is you, that go ahead. all you want? Let's oh, no, see. never mind. You got your own horse. When okay, cool. There, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a horse. My bad. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Vantage point. Remember, this is not just the man who killed my husband. He, his wife, and Jeremiah Shaw all had a hand in putting you away and setting you up for the gallows, too. With that in mind, I hope you trust me to act in all our interests here. Think of your self-interest, too, ma'am. Your safety. I'm sure we're all concerned with that. Oh, Mr. Hawley, I'll be fine. We all shall. Mm. 
Slow down. Stop just over here. So the meeting is this way. In the middle of town. Of course. Very good, Mr. Lansing. Tells everyone he's the boss now. Keeps me from acting too You want to go on the roof, or you want me to go you on the roof? You got the, the sniper roof, rifle, stay so down here. it's up to you, Just Moody. make sure we don't get killed. Just make sure if we do get killed, everyone dies. You stay with no. her. Just make sure we aren't both killed. never did the rooftop before, so this would be nice. Take this. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, hey, hello, Red Harvest darling. and, uh... <coughs> Good to see you, Mr. Lansing. You too. Magnificent Seven. Jessica! How lovely to see you. Why, it's been a, a long, long time. No, it hasn't. Not compared with all eternity. Jessica, I miss Philip every day. Awful what happened to him. Quite terrible, but you seem... <laughs> My dear, you seem under the misapprehension that I had something to do with his demise. You, your wife, or your business partner, at least one of you did, and your brother-in-law. But he's dead. Well, he was a bad man. I'm glad he was killed. Sure. Cleans up your mess, doesn't it? You don't seem... Quite well, my dear. I'm mm. not. I am destroyed with grief. Oh, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah, life can be terrible. Terrible. Well, there is a. He sounded like Charles Barkley there for a second. Just terrible. Need to discuss. Mm, oh, sure, there is. Well, you see, he and I had an agreement. In the event one of us dying, the other took control of the business in exchange for a nominal sum. <laughs> You lie, sir. You signed last year. The document lies with Mr. Shaw there. He also has your money, $500. My husband's property was worth a hundred times that, you thief. You murderous thief. Madam Leclerc, I will ask you to watch your manners. Uh, I have good standing in this town. Oh, you do, do you? I am a man of impeccable morality. Morality. Oh, well, then you have... Little to fear it's of It's about death. to go down. You god-awful swine. <laughs> it's on.
It's up to you. You go with Harley or Mrs. Leclerc. Alright. Yeah, alright, let's see. Damn, Mr. Clerk can fucking run, dog. Oh, hi. Um, you guys call for our Uber?
This is a good spot. Pull up. I'll take it from here. Here are the documents, madam. They were forged. Of course they were forged. Mm -hmm. Here. I don't need to see them. No, I don't suppose you do. Mm -hmm. Although there's a... There's Grace Lansing, but she will have to wait. And also, we have to decide how we're going to clear all our See, names. See, they need to continue this story arc right here, man. We have uncovered. Not sure the state authorities take too kindly to revenge killings, madam. <laughs> no, I'm sure I they don't. I got you, Moon. We're going to split this 50-50 right here. For another here you day. go, girl. Because right now, that little plot is over. And my husband has been avenged. My friends, my true friends. I owe you more than words can say. It's all good. Thank you. You're welcome. And should our paths cross again, and well, I'm sure they may. But right now, I need to make myself scarce. And I recommend that you all do your best not to get into too much additional trouble. That's your business. My poor husband. He deserves so much better than this, but this is what he got. This is what we all got. Drive on. Mr. Holy. Oh. -ho. That was fun. Silver on this round. Uh. I see why. to see you. basically did everything man we got everything knocked out so early nom 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 that you know we're gonna probably end the show a little early usually i like to end it around you know between 9 20 and 9 30 but i guess we can end it a little bit early oh yeah that's so good good, good stew but with all that being said man thank you all for being here today thank you all for being a part of not only the chat but part of the show um always fun to have you guys be a part of the discussion no matter what it is I wake up every morning, like I say to you guys every time, I wake up every morning just to be a part of the stream. You know, everybody wakes up and they're like, oh man, I don't want to go to school. Or, oh man, I don't want to go to work. You know what I mean? I wake up and I kind of feel that way too. And then a couple seconds go by, I open my eyes. Gibbity, gibbity. I, 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 I fucking rub the eye boogers out and I'm like, you know what, man? I, I'm going to do a stream gibbity. this morning. I get to talk to some of the coolest people. Come on to my show. You guys brighten up my morning, get me motivated to get through my day and not like want to like, you know, um, opt out. If I say anything else, even in a joke, YouTube will take it as like serious because they don't know sarcasm or satire or have a sense of humor. So 
if I say something along the lines of, you know, even in a joke, they'll take it as the wrong way, and next thing I know, I'll have, like, people with straight jackets at the front door getting ready to take me away. But you guys get it. You guys know I'm joking around. Um, much love and respect to you all. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday hump day. Like I always say, don't let the man or the woman get you down. You know what I mean? Stay fresh. Stay funky. Stay sexy. Stay salty. We'll be back tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Bright Wake and early. Up with Warpath, a warm cup of coffee. There you go, right there. Fun laps here at 7 a.m. Avocado time every Monday through Saturday. Yep. So, there you have it from the horse night bot's mouth. Sexy. There you go. Stay frosty, my peeps. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.